Welcome to the Solar Schoolhouse Academy. I'm Tor Allen and I'll be your host for this solar primer. Some people ask why solar? I'd like to share some of the experiences that introduced me to solar energy and why it's so important to teach others. My own discovery of solar energy began after attending college in Santa Barbara where I'd studied engineering in the early 1980s. I'd learned of this place called the Gildea Resource Center perched atop the Mesa in Santa Barbara. The center incorporated many passive solar design principles to heat and cool itself, minimizing the use of imported energy resources. A photovoltaic system, a solar electric system, one of the first net metered systems in California, provides much of the electricity used at the site. A solar hot water system preheats water for domestic use. All these design features together result in a building that provides nearly all of its heating, cooling, and electrical needs. To me, it was simply cool that it was possible to design a building, your home perhaps, to run on the sun. This gave me the perspective that there are real solutions available and that I have the power to implement these in my own life. It also gave me a sense of independence, the idea that I could have some control of this thing that powers our lives, energy. From there I learned about homes built 2,500 years ago that were oriented in the right direction to collect the sun's heat during winter and designed with overhangs to block the sun in the summer. Of towns where whole neighborhoods are designed with solar principles in mind. Of homes that collected rainwater for drinking and treated gray water through plant filters. Homes that use recycled materials from tires to straw bale. All this appealed to me in the sense that these were all solutions I could use myself in my own life. I learned about how most of the electricity in the United States is generated by burning coal and of the air and water pollution consequences. It seemed like more reason to seek solutions like solar energy and other renewable energy sources. Oil. Our society is very dependent on the use of oil to fuel our vehicles, cars, planes, buses, boats, and life as we know it. I learned about something called peak oil and that we are near the peak where we can no longer pump oil out of the ground fast enough to fuel a growing and oil thirsty population. That instead oil production is on a downward decline. Not only does burning of oil and gasoline have air and water pollution consequences, it is a finite resource that will run out within 50 years if not earlier. Yet again, another reason to look at solar energy and other renewable resources. Energy security. There is a price for our cheap gasoline that we don't see. It is the cost of spending billions of dollars to secure a supply of oil from unfriendly so-called partners. This shows up in the astronomical national debt our country is now facing. Imagine, instead, if we directed these resources toward developing fuels that were renewable and can be harvested locally. There are solutions, from biofuels to solar-charged electric hybrid vehicles that are working today. Investing in and developing these solutions based on local renewable fuels will greatly improve our independence and national security. Climate change, also known as global warming. Five years ago, few were talking about global warming or climate change. Now there's greater awareness. We've learned that CO2 levels worldwide are increasing at an unsustainable rate and that global temperatures are following suit. We're seeing the implications of these changes in loss of polar ice caps, which act to regulate global temperatures, loss of species, higher intensity in storms, more extreme droughts, more extreme floods. We've learned that much of this earth imbalance is from man-made greenhouse gases, primarily CO2, which is a result of our use of fossil-based fuels to power our lives and drive our cars. We know there are alternative and clean solutions. The sun is the place to start. All of these issues are scary and daunting to deal with on a global scale. On a local level, we can turn to the knowledge that there are solutions, solar solutions, that can be used to tackle all of these problems. If we just start at home, your home and my home. Lastly, I'd like to share the thought that life on Earth as we know it would not be possible without the sun. In fact, life would not exist without the sun's energy. All other forms of energy are directly or indirectly related to the sun, solar energy. Think about this, one hour of sunshine provides the same amount of energy as the whole world consumes in one year. We need to be smarter about capturing and utilizing sunshine here on Earth. 
It is possible. It can be done. With your help, a truly sustainable future is possible. With this solar primer, we hope you'll bring these lessons into your own life, ignite your students' imaginations, and continue on the path to sustainability. Best of luck. Let's get started.